Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can run a web browser inside of a Docker container on Windows. Why would you want to do this? Maybe you are afraid that the browser may harm your system and you are more confident if the browser is running in a sandboxed environment, like for instance in a Docker container. In this video we will try 4 different browsers, we will run each one in a different container, we will build the images from scratch from a Docker file, like we always do and we will compare the performance and the overall experience. Here on Windows we will display the browsers using an X server. If you want to know more about what an X server is and how to display GUI applications that are running inside of a Docker container, then you can check out my previous video, the link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. Down in the description are all the necessary links as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. The first web browser that we will run inside of a container is Firefox and I have prepared a docker file here. This is it. As you can see it is a very small one and all the docker files that I will show you in this video are very small and look similar. Now let's quickly go through it. This time I'm using Alpine Linux as a base because Alpine Linux is very lightweight and usually you use Alpine Linux in a container. The release doesn't really matter, I chose this one for no particular reason. Then I'm defining a user by the name browser, this will be the user that runs the browser, so we will not run the browser as root. And then I'm installing Firefox, installing some basic fonts and adding the user. Then I'm changing the user to this browser user and I'm exporting the display environment variable, which I set to host.docker.internal and this will be resolved to the IP address of my host system, of my Windows system. And then starting Firefox. And that's it. So let's try it out. Go to Terminal, New Terminal, make sure you're in the right folder and write docker build-f and the name of the docker file which is called docker file-alpine-firefox then dash t and the image I will call it docker-firefox and a dot for the current folder and enter build. This can take some time. Alright, the image is ready. Here it is in Docker Desktop. Before we run the container, we need to run an X server on Windows. And the X server I have installed here on my system is called VCX Serve. The download link is in the description and I will launch it. Here it is and I will go with the defaults. Next, next, next and finish. The X server is running in the background and now I can just start the container. Run and run. Now here you can see Firefox opening up. Now when you display applications using an X server, Usually, if you have a bigger window, then you also have a bigger lag. That's something that you need to have in mind. But let's try it out. Let's try Wikipedia, for instance. And yes, this is running inside of a Docker container, this one here, and it is displayed on Windows. Let's go to English. As you can see, this is what you get. Let's try something more complicated. Let's try YouTube. I mean, it is working. Scrolling is a challenge, definitely on YouTube. You can see I click on it but it doesn't do anything. Maybe if I pause the video. Okay, now that I pause the video it seems to work. User experience isn't the best. Let's try to go full screen. It just fills the window. So this isn't really fluent but I'm also recording the video at the same time. I know it was more fluent when I was not recording. And another thing, if you're running it in a Docker container you don't get audio. Maybe there is a workaround, maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. But at the time of recording, this is what you get. Just close the window. Stopping is a challenge. Stop the video. As you can see, the container has stopped. And now if you want to start Firefox again, just start the container and you should get Firefox. I would say you could use this for browsing, but not for multimedia stuff and YouTube. You will get very frustrated if you use this one for YouTube. Now the next big one on the list would be Google Chrome. But unfortunately there is a big problem with all Chromium based browsers like Google Chrome, Brave, Edge and Chromium. For some reason I couldn't get any of them to work reliably. The websites randomly crashed with errors. I will show you what I have so far. So I have Chromium here. Here's a Docker file and the only difference from the previous one is that here we have Chromium. So I'm installing Chromium and here I'm starting Chromium browser with the option no sandbox. Without this option Chromium wouldn't even start, but since the Docker container is already a sandbox, we don't really care if Chromium is not in its own sandbox, because it is inside of a Docker container. So let's try this one, back to the terminal, and here I will adjust the previous command. The Docker file name is 
Docker file Alpine Chromium, and the image will have the name Docker Chromium and build enter. Image is ready. Let's go to Docker Desktop. Here it is, Docker Chromium. The X server VCX serve is still running, so we can also start this one. Run. Now it's all stretched out, but here it is. It looks like it is running. Let's try Wikipedia and English. So it seems like it is a bit more responsive than Firefox. And probably you could use this for browsing. Now let's try YouTube. Here it is. And it crashed. So YouTube will not work at all. And I was getting this one even when I was browsing other websites, even on Wikipedia. Sometimes the reload works and I can continue browsing, but it's just annoying. You get this all the time and you always need to reload and hope that the website will be displayed. I tried to start Chromium with a bunch of flags here, but it didn't help. In this state, I can't recommend any Chromium-based browser. This includes Google Chrome, Edge and Brave. For now, I will leave it at this. You can try it out yourself if you want. Let's close this. And I also couldn't get Chromium working inside of a desktop environment when I was running it in a Docker container. And by the way, if you want to know how to run a full Ubuntu desktop environment inside of a container on Windows, then you can check out my previous video. The link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. So check it out. The third browser on the list is Epiphany, formerly known as Gnome Web. This is the official GitLab page. And as it states here, Gnome Web is based on the WebKit rendering engine. And if we go to the link, WebKit is the web browser engine used by Safari, Mail, App Store and many other apps on macOS, iOS and Linux. So this one seemed very promising to me and I thought maybe I should give it a try. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Here is the Docker file and the only difference from the previous ones is that I'm installing Epiphany and a bunch of dependencies that Epiphany needs like plugins, fonts and icons. And at the end, I'm just starting Epiphany here. And that's it. So let's try it out. Let's build the image. Back to the terminal. I will use the previous command. And the Docker file name is Alpine Epiphany. And the name of the image will be Docker Epiphany. And build. Enter. Image is ready. Docker Epiphany. And this one is a bit bigger, as you can see. X server is still running. So we can start the container. Run. Run. Here it is. Let's try Wikipedia first. As I am typing, you can see that this one is extremely responsive. English. This one is very fast. And also scrolling is better than on Firefox. Very responsive. Now it is displayed using an X server on Windows and you can't really expect that it behaves like a native Windows app on Windows. You will always have a bit of lag. But this one is the fastest so far. Let's try out YouTube. This one is performing really well. And from all the browsers I tried, this one just blew my mind. How quick it is and how responsive it is. Really amazing. The only problem I get with this one is that on some videos, I get this error message on some videos. Maybe it's because I missed a package. I'm not really sure. And at the time of recording, I was not able to fix the problem. But despite this error, if you want to run a browser inside of a Docker container, then I think that Epiphany is the best option for you. And I'm amazed because it just performs so well, better than Firefox and better than Chrome. The only workaround I found for this error is instead of using the Alpine base image, this one here, you can also use the Ubuntu image, this one here, and just install Epiphany on Ubuntu and then all videos on YouTube will just work. But since this is Ubuntu, the final image will have like a gigabyte and it will run a bit slower because Alpine is very lightweight, but you can give it a try if you want. The fourth browser I will test is Falcon. This is the official website. And if we go to the about page, Falcon is formerly known as Kubezilla and it's based on the Qt web engine. Let's give this one a try. Back to Visual Studio Code. Here is the Docker file. And I couldn't get this one working on Alpine. So I just used Ubuntu and I'm just doing similar stuff as before, installing Falcon, adding the user and just running the browser. And that's it. Let's try this one. Terminal, the previous command. This one is Ubuntu Falcon and the Docker image Docker dash Falcon and enter build. Image is ready. Here it is Docker Falcon. And as you can see, it is way bigger than all the other images because it's based on Ubuntu. X server is still running and let's start the container run. 
So here is Falcon, it's building up. Let's make the window a bit smaller. This is the Falcon start page, let's try Wikipedia. From all the browsers that we tried out, this one is the slowest when it comes to loading web pages. Okay, here we are, let's try to scroll a bit. Well, it's, it's like Firefox, I would say. You see this building up effect, but it works. Let's try YouTube. Very slow indeed. Now just so you can see, I'm waiting for 30 seconds. Oh, something's happening. Still waiting. I'm waiting now over two minutes and I think it makes no sense to test this one further. I would say you can use this one barely for browsing, but for YouTube or any multimedia, I can't recommend it. Okay, something's happening, but it doesn't matter. I will close it. So much about Falcon. And that's it for this video. You can find all the Docker files down in the description, so you can try them out, give them a try. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Give a like and subscribe if you found this video useful and you want to see more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.